Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. This quote struck a chord with me because for a long time, I was stuck in a rut of trying to achieve my dream of becoming a successful online entrepreneur. I had a clear goal in mind, to make 30K a month from living the laptop lifestyle. But no matter what I tried, nothing seemed to work. I tried dropshipping, trading, affiliate marketing, and more. I took massive action every single day, but I felt like I was missing something. Then I realized that maybe the problem was not with the strategies, but with myself. Maybe I was not using my imagination enough to create my own unique solutions and opportunities. Maybe I needed to tap into the power of my subconscious mind and unleash my creative potential. I decided to explore the realm of personal development and mindset work. I did everything from morning routines, meditation, affirmations, hypnosis, to jumping up and down like a madman. But nothing really made a difference. I still felt like something was holding me back from achieving my goal. I still felt like I was not living up to my true potential. That's when I discovered the secret to unlocking your imagination and manifesting your desired reality, visualization. As I researched more about this technique, I discovered that it was used by some of the most successful people in history. Einstein himself used visualization to come up with his theory of relativity. Oprah Winfrey used visualization to overcome her childhood trauma and become a media mogul. Jim Carrey used visualization to go from being homeless to being a Hollywood star. And many more examples. Visualization is the key to accessing your subconscious mind and creating your own reality. When I learned how to visualize properly, everything changed for me. I was able to quit my boring corporate job and start my own online business that I'm passionate about and that makes me nearly over a million a year. But I can assure you that if you master just one skill, how to visualize properly, and you do it consistently for a period of time, you will see amazing changes in your life as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize effectively and create your own personal visualization system that will help you achieve any goal you want. Let's get started. Firstly, define your goal clearly. Getting crystal clear on exactly what you want to manifest is the crucial first step. As the saying goes, clarity is power. Here are some tips for defining your goal clearly. Engage all your senses, make your goal multi-sensory, see it vividly in your mind's eye, Feel what it would feel like to have it. Hear associated sounds. Tap into your emotions. Add specifics. Get detailed. Specify amounts, colors, locations, time frames, and any other concrete details. The more tangible it is, the better. Write it down. Put your goal into words. Writing it makes it more concrete and focuses your mind. Use present tense. Describe your goal as if you already have it now. This sends a stronger message to the universe. Make it exciting. Your emotional excitement gives your goal more energetic power to manifest. As Napoleon Hill famously said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So the more clearly and vividly you conceive your goal at the outset, the faster you can believe it and thus achieve it through focused visualization. Pick a milestone at least 12 months out. What does life look like once it has been achieved? Here are some examples of clearly defined goals. I weigh 150 pounds and feel lighter and more energetic. I earn $10,000 per month working from home doing what I love. I drive my brand new red Tesla down the Pacific Coast Highway wind in my hair, feeling free. Take the time to get clear on every detail of your goal. This clarity sets the stage for your visualizations to have maximum impact. Decide exactly what you want, 
Believe you can have it, conceive it clearly, and your mind will make it a reality. Visualize that every morning and night. Secondly, visualize achieving your goal. Now that you've defined your goal clearly, the next step is to start visualizing having it. Set aside five to 10 minutes each day to vividly imagine that your goal is already a reality. Here are some tips for effective visualization. Make it vivid. See bright, crisp images in your mind's eye. Make them as vivid as possible. Engage your senses fully. Simulate real scenes. Imagine specific scenes of you achieving your goal. For example, if your goal is a new home, visualize walking through each room. Feel your emotions. Focus on generating the feelings you would have if your goal was already achieved. Feelings give your visualizations power. Repeat key phrases, say affirmations that align with your goal. Like, I am so grateful now that. Let images flow, don't force it. Relax and let your visualization unfold naturally. Believe it's real, imagine your visualization is happening in the present moment. As you visualize, your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's vividly imagined and what's real. So with consistent practice, your mind starts to align your outer world with your inner visions. Here's an example of how you could visualize buying your dream home. As I walk up to the beautiful new white house, I instantly feel joy and excitement. I unlock the bright red front door and step into the open foyer, admiring the high ceilings. I smell the fresh paint. I run my hand along the smooth marble countertops, smiling ear to ear. I am so grateful now that I own this amazing dream home outright. I did it. Vividly visualize your goal as already complete every day. This sends a consistent message to the universe that this is what you desire to manifest. When inner and outer worlds align, magic happens. Once you've clearly defined your goal and set your daily visualizations in motion, the final step is to let go and trust that it will come to fruition. Here are some tips for letting go. Avoid obsession. Refrain from constant thoughts like when will it happen or how will it happen. These undermine your manifestation. Practice patience. Understand that your goal may take time to manifest. Allow the universe to deliver it on its timeline. Stay occupied. Keep your mind focused elsewhere through work, hobbies, socializing, etc. Release expectations. Don't be attached to specific timing or methods. You don't know the universe's plan. Have gratitude. Be grateful for what you have now instead of fixating on what you still want. Let emotions flow. Don't suppress any feelings or resistance. Accept them, then refocus on your vision. Trust your power. Have faith in your ability to manifest your desires. You are the creator of your reality. The manifestation process may seem illogical or outside of your control, but the universe works in complex ways we can't always understand. As Steve Jobs put it, you have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Now, you must have intention here. Where? Intent refers to your resolve and commitment to achieving your desired manifestation goal. There are two types of intent to understand. Inner intention. Your inner intention is the focus on taking actions and doing certain things in order to achieve your goal. This means actively working towards making it happen through your own effort. For example, if your goal is to start a successful business, your inner intention would be things like researching business models, writing a business plan, marketing your services, etc. The inner intention is doing tangible things to generate the outcome you want. Outer intention. Your outer intention is detached from the specifics of how or when your desired outcome will happen. Your outer intention is simply maintaining the unshakable belief that your goal will materialize in the perfect way, at the perfect time. With outer intention, you release expectations about the exact steps that need to happen. 
You trust that universal forces beyond your control will orchestrate the ideal circumstances. So, in summary, utilize inner intention to actively execute on visualization processes and goal-achieving actions, but combine that with outer intention to fully let go and trust that your manifestation will unfold miraculously. With both forms of intent aligned, you allow the universe to deliver your goal in divine timing, while also doing the work. Stay centered in the present moment, continue visualizing your desired outcome, while detaching from when or how it will materialize. Show up daily, do the work, trust the process, and release your vision out to the universe with faith. Now, there is another essential section, like you might want to visualize yourself at next level. Well, how do you do that? Visualizing your ideal self. An important part of the visualization process is picturing your ideal self, the highest version of you that easily accomplishes your goals. Here are tips for visualizing your ideal self. Inquire. Ask yourself deep questions like, what would the version of me who effortlessly achieves this look like? What abilities or traits set my ideal self apart? Define your 2.0 self based on your inquiry. Define the specifics of your ideal self. For example, five superpowers. What are five key skills, abilities, or strengths your ideal self possesses? Five key habits. What are five consistent habits or rituals your ideal self does daily? Style. How does your ideal self dress, carry themselves, etc.? What visual cues indicate you are this person? Essentially visualize your ideal self as having already achieved your goals. See yourself as the person you need to become in order to attain what you want in reality. When you visualize your ideal self consistently, it sends a message to your subconscious that this version of you is who you are growing into. Your subconscious then aligns your actions and outer world over time until you rise to match this ideal self-image. The final step is embodying that ideal self you visualized. There are a few ways to start living from your highest self. When conducting tasks, ask yourself how would my ideal self approach and execute this task, then do it as they would. When making decisions, ask what decision would my ideal self make in this scenario then choose that option. Act as if, pretend you already are your ideal self as much as possible. Think, speak and act from this highest version of yourself. The saying goes who you pretend to be, you become. The more you embody your ideal self through your actions, decisions and self-concept, the more your subconscious mind accepts this identity. And when your subconscious belief aligns with your ideal self, you naturally think, act, and manifest goals fitting of this highest version of you. So visualize often, then walk through life each day as if you're already this ideal person. You'll be amazed at how quickly you start rising to meet your visualized potential. Well there you have it. Now you know the secrets to manifesting anything you want using the power of visualization. First, get crystal clear on exactly what you want. See it, feel it, hear it, taste it. Then vividly visualize having it already every day. Finally, let go and trust that the universe will deliver it on divine timing. If you stick to this process, you can and will manifest your goals and dreams. I hope this video shed some light on how you can utilize visualization to completely transform your life. Let me know in the comments what you plan to start visualizing for yourself. There is also a short link where we have a short chart on this. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe and share it with a friend who needs to hear this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Sending you all an abundance of love and light. Until next time.